Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video review of the first aid bag which is a portable water filtration system by a company called uh, Pure Hydration. They're actually approved for use by the UK Ministry of Defence. I think they're also endorsed by um, the London Hospital of Tropical Diseases. So they're quite a serious company when it comes to water filtration and they offer quite a lot of uh, different portable water tr uh, filtration devices. But this one looks like a pretty good one because um, you can fit quite a bit of water in this bag to, to filter through. And it's pretty durable. I mean, that's, it's a thick material. There's no fear of that splitting or breaking in your bag. And of course, it will fold up quite compactly as well. And the filter is uh, in a separate small container, which you could just put water straight in that and uh, have a little bit of water in there to drink from the bottle, which is useful. And you can get larger sports type bottles and the 58 pattern water bottles as well that uh, have a wider top to them to, for this uh, filtration device to fix onto. So it's quite a handy thing to have. As for the bag itself, as I say, it's pretty tough and durable. At the top, to open it, there's a tight Velcro here, then you unroll it. There's also some tight clips here, and inside there's some flaps, I don't know if you can see it on the video, that will push up when there's water inside, so there's really no fear of any water escaping from that or leaking in your bag. Uh, to work it, you'd unscrew the end here and put the filter in there, screw it in. Fill the bag with water, do it up and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes for the water to properly seep in and filter through and you should have clean water, it's as easy as that. So really, you know, for the size of it, you could easily put this in your rucksack, in a bug out bag if you wanted to, it's not going to really take up any room or add any weight and it's, you know, a lifesaver. <clears throat> if, if every family in Pakistan right now had one of these, um, they'd be doing a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot better off than they are. You know, because there's a lot of people out there now who, who are dying already from dehydration, just because they they can't sustain themselves long enough to to wait for the uh, donations to come in. So, if just every family had one of these, it would, it'd be such a great help to them. And you know, we get we get floods in this country, we get floods in England, and. Uh, and even just travelling normally, not in an emergency, there are a lot of countries that are tourist hotspots that don't have the most reliable water, you know, Egypt being one of them, you know, some of these countries in South America, just to name a few. Um, so having one of these to take with you when you're travelling would be a great way of uh, making sure you're getting clean water without having to keep buying bottled water and uh, literally weeing your money away on that. So it's a good little bag. Anyway, I'll uh, test it out later with some stagnant water from outside and see what see if it, see what it comes out like. Right, as you can see, this isn't the cleanest of water. It's just rainwater that I've collected, but uh, it's quite stagnant. There's all sorts of different little insects and things, larvae swimming about in there. Anyway, I'm now going to fill the first aid bag up from here and. Uh, Leave it for a while to filter through. Just balance the camera there. Oop. Right. A bit of trouble bouncing the camera there. Um, turn the tap. There we go. That should do it. Now I'll leave that to filter for a quarter of an hour and uh, give it a little taste and smell test and see what it's like. Right, I'm now going to get some water out of this and uh, see what it tastes like and see what it smells like. Since we've come out there a bit slow for some reason. I'll just let it uh, out of there. Looks clean, it's crystal clear. There's enough there for me to taste. Right. There's no smell to it. And that water was a bit smelly uh, in that water, but so 
Nice smell. Tastes like tap water. There's no chemical taste to that at all. If you use uh, water purification tablets, they do, they do leave a bit of a bit of an aftertaste. But this, you really would think that was tap water. Crystal clear. Obviously, water purification tablets aren't going to filter out the bits of muck and stuff in it as well. But that, it's fantastic. Of course, I'm you know I may collapse in the next few days of poisoning, but I, I don't think I will. If I do, I'll uh, post a comment under the video. But no, I'm very pleased with that. I think it's a great item to take with you if you're camping or travelling. Save you carrying so much water with you. You can uh, instead of carrying five bottles of water, and just carry one or two maybe, and then gather water as you're going along with that. It's fantastic. And as I said before, you you can buy a bottle to fit that filter on anyway. You don't have to use it with the bag. It's really the filter you're paying for when you when you buy it, not the bag. So um, yeah, it's it's really is a fantastic item.